We spent our entire end slate last video looking at that divine beast, and I didn't even take a moment to look directly below us. What's in between the divine beast and us? Some sort of strange monument. What? What is this? Some sort of coliseum? I'm going to need to go down there. Hopefully this episode. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, Agro and I entered into the Gerudo Desert, and we ended the episode by discovering the Wasteland Tower. This time, now that we have a map of the region, also a strange area jutting into, jutting into another place, that's odd, we are going to be backtracking a little bit and exploring, like the Gerudo Canyon there is something that we glossed over completely. There's a quest right there of a guy who wants to buy a horse, and th we know there's a shrine next to the stable because, well, there's always a shrine next to a stable. So we are going to be doing that this episode. But first, I would also like to check up on- what? 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 Uh, okay. But first, I would like to check up on something which we set in motion last episode. We met a Gerudo who is a tailor, and we sent her on her way to Terrytown. And I would like to catch up on that. I don't want to wait a long time to see what she's up to. I would like to do that now to put that quest to bed for good, hopefully. They're probably going to need a Rito or something, but I don't know. We'll, we'll check up on that. So, starting off with that, also, looking at my inventory, I need money, so I think I'm also going to stop by uh, Gru the uh, Goron region, the Elden Volcano, and sell some stuff. <laughs> I've always learned that it's best to make a th as good entrance as possible. That actually wasn't that cool. Where is Gerudo Woman? She's not over here. She's a seamstress, so would she be in a house? Or I guess a tailor, not a seamstress. Is she- oh, hey! There she is. She opened up a store, which has- what? Wait, wait, let's let's talk to her. Hey, uh, what was your name? Ronson? Vasak, you need me so for something? Uh, Savak. <laughs> you should say Savolta now. Hehe. <laughs> Hehe, <laughs> don't you remember me? I'm Ronson. I've ha I've had to mend Hudson work clothes every single day. It impressive how much he wears them down. Besides the holes, they reek so much of sweat. It's actually pretty rough to work on them. I tried to bring them up, bring it up to him, but he got defensive almost immediately. You know, I came out here in, to search, uh, to continue my search for a husband. I wonder if he's the only kind of vo I'll find. What else do you have to say? I came. Wait, I didn't come to sell. Uh, so you're selling these stuff, this stuff, right? Vo spalders, so men spalders, I guess. Uh, this. I guess here. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, camera would be probably be a better way of looking at this. Yeah, but camera's a better way of working at looking at this. Well, these look nice. Uh, sh should I buy them? There's also an iron sledgehammer over there. Let's let's buy them. They're not. They're actually pretty cheap. Wow, 650 rupees. Uh, Sar uh, Sarkso, it suits you. And 1300. Again, not that much. Armor for mail sold rarely by Gerudo retailers. It contains sapphire, which harnesses the power of ice to make hot climates more tolerable. Uh, Sarkso. I'm, I'm sure it'll look good on you. And a headband, which, again, is ridiculously cheap. Desert Vo headband. And it's it makes things cooler. Oh, you bought everything. Sarkso. So let's let's put this on. What what exactly did I get here? And where where is it? It's over here. So I... That looks kind of cool. My, my headdress. That looks nice. Yeah! I like this. It's this is a good look for Link. Do I have a bow that looks better with this? Royal bow, probably. Yeah, royal bow looks fantastic with this. Almost like it was meant to be. And then I can equip this. Man, look at me. I look great. I don't even know. Not sure what I even look like, but I look great. And we can take this directly over to the Great Fairy and see what needs to be done on it. Desert a white choo choo jelly. That's easily obtained, because I can just hit choose with an ice weapon, freeze them, and then kill them. So, white choo-choo jelly, and then I can go and up upgrade that. Neat! 
All right, well, let's do that. So that isn't the only set of armor that I can obtain right now. After my comment last episode, talking about how, uh, how there must be a defense-oriented build of armor, you guys were very quick to notice, well, I guess you were slow to notice, that when I was in Hitano Village, there was an armor set, is, no, it's not here, an armor set that I could have purchased, but I didn't. And that was all the way back in, what, episode 10? And apparently, where it's not here, there is an armor shop somewhere, and it has the fabled defense gear. Is it this? Oh, this looks like it. Is this it? Oh, wow. Wow. They have the Hylian trousers, which do I even have? Wait a minute. Have I been wearing the... Yeah, I... I okay. Yeah, Hylian trousers. They have the Hylian gear, but they also... If I can get past the counter, they have a warm doublet? Really? So, we didn't need to complete that, that side quest in order to get this. And they also have the soldier's armor, which are is so cheap. Wow. 180 rupees. And I missed out on this so long ago. This entire time, during boss battles, I could have been equipping this. But, I was not. And so now, we have this. And I'm going to go ahead and die it while I'm here. I don't think I'm going to die the the Vo Spalders, but I will die this. Wow, that... <laughs> I can't believe we missed that. So, Ice Keys and White Choo Choo be Jelly for the Desert Vo Headband. I need to pay attention for that. As well as just White Choo Choo Jelly in general. But also, the Soldier's Armor... Wow, I can oh. fully upgrade. Now, to upgrade these up to the second star, which it appears I can do so right now, all I need are Keese Eyeballs and Moblin Guts, which I have in oh. excess. Now, the set bonus for that fully upgraded Soldier's Gear, first of all, it gives 12 defense as opposed to every other set's 8 defense. So this thing is a noticeable improvement. Also, I dyed it to light blue, since so I thought that would look good. It doesn't have a set bonus. Huh. I guess... That's weird. I guess just it has better defense, so it's strictly better in every way than the Hylian tunic set, which I mistakenly called the Traveler set. Weird. Okay, well, that's fine. I can use this normally. I also forgot to speak with Hudson before I left, so before we go back to the Gerudo Desert, let's talk with him and get our next objective. Hey! You found someone from the Gerudo. Thank you. I think I'd do a new voice for him every single time. She is able to patch every last hole in my work clothes before I could blink. She's er, amazing. And since her name's Ronson, I have no objections. I hear she's decided to continue putting her skills to use by opening a clothing shop. You should stop by and say hello. Well, next is... Uh-huh. So before more people can move here, we need more homes for them to live in. Can you bring me 30 bundles of wood? If you bring me that, I can mine that with what I've already got and get started on new houses. Um, hello? What's the deal? You're... I'm a traveler. I normally don't have time to mingle with commoners, but I have a feeling about you. I'll make it an exception this time. Your clothes. I'm guessing you're a little hard up for cash, am I right? Uh, I have 8,000 rupees in my inventory, but sure. I appreciate your honesty. So for... or oh, 6,000. So for the down payment, I say 100 rupees seems fair, right? Uh, sure. D d take it. D hand. Sure? Yes? What? I'll take money. Ho ho ho. So you accept then. Excellent. Now listen to what I have to say. The Torrin wetland lies to the west of here. You're aware that there are guardians there. Not just one, either. Two of them. You know how dangerous they are. So, sonny boy, I'd like you to find and wall both of them in Torrin wetland. Then come and see me. I was going to do that anyway. So sure, this episode is, is going on a bit of a tangent. Uh, I don't know what happened. We were just supposed to, you know, stop, get some armor, and move along our way. But uh, things can't be that simple. Now I'm I'm getting lumber and also killing guardians. I mean, like I said, I was probably going to do that anyway, but it's not planned. This is not something that I, I thought this episode was going to turn into. Okay, 30 pieces of wood. Let's make sure. 20. I only need 10. I'll grab 10, and then I will... Ooh, I'll also grab that. 
I'll grab a couple more, then I'll run over to those guardians and kill them. And the Avenger from the night jumps off the roof and delivers the wood. Hey, or hey, do you bring me 30 bundles of wood? I think the voice just changed again. Excellent, can I have them? Yes, you're a life saver. Well, next is, I fi it's, startly, it's finally starting to look like a town around here, which is exactly what we need to set up some distribution. I'd like to get a general store up and running, but there's just no one with the connections or qualifications to run it. Do you think you'd keep an eye out for someone who knows about distribution and can run a general store? Like, a traveling trader? Yeah, that's a good thought. Rito can fly, so they should be able to retrieve and deliver supplies. Good luck, you'll need it. This seems like a real long shot to me. Oh, and one last wrinkle. Uh, yeah, in accordance with the Bolson Construction Company, that name's, person's name must end son. Send him and tear it down. Okay, so, about the guardian and the rich man, which, uh, is he still here? Is he gone? Because it's nighttime? Are you kidding me? Uh, because, I, I think I already completed this, or I already killed the guardians off screen. So, I think I just need to talk to this guy again. It's you. Do you need something else from me? Guardians kaput. Okay, okay, I saw the whole thing. You did splendidly. Let me give you the rest of the reward, as I promised. 20 rupees. Why do you look so disappointed? It can't be because the reward is lower than the down payment, can it? You commoners with your notions and assumptions. The whole idea that a down payment is a small part of the final payment is an idea entirely unique to the common folk. In any case, our business is concluded. Go over there, or anywhere, really. Anywhere that isn't right here. The possibilities are endless to where we can go. While we did spend a lot of this episode in places that I did not expect for us to spend them, we still have some time left, so let's use that and go... Where are we going? Let's go to Gerudo Canyon and then tackle this, this area because I know there's at least one shrine over here and then move on and, and backtrack to the tower. So first... Let's see if we can get some ice jelly. Maybe? Maybe not. Oh. Okay, that doesn't work. You have to override... Apparently, you have to override a vanilla chew in order to get the coveted blue or white chew jelly. Let's see, what is this? What is right here? Almost looks like a nest, doesn't it? What is this? Weird. This area, does it have a purpose? Is there a giant stone talus? Or is this could be a giant stone talus. I don't know. We haven't encountered one of those things, but... I won't rule it out. N nothing? This, this area exists for no reason. Unless this guardian's alive, which is a terrible reason, but... I think, actually, I think I know why that, that depression's there. Yeah, I, I know exactly why that depression's there. We need to push that boulder... Into... If I can, the water doesn't keep slowing me. I need to push that boulder into the depression. So let's do that. Yeah, just as I thought. We also have 28 Korok seeds. So we're going to have to get a payoff for that at some point. Here, if this guy can turn around. Yeah! I read about that in the, uh... In the loading screen tip. That you can hit the their horn... If they have a an electrical horn with your arrow, and it will, it'll do that. So all this time, and that hint finally just came to f fruition. Let's kill that guy. I don't actually really, you know what? I'll trade this in for a fire rod. Whatever. It's not. It's not like the best thing. Also, we do have our. We do have our shrine sensor up, so I'm not sh exactly sure where this shrine is. There are a lot of tiered cliffs here and a lot of weird weird structures, like this. Who attends this? There's no one on it. It's... It, not even enemies are on this thing. It just There's a lot of framework here that there's no real reason for. Like, why is this here? And where does that lead? I, I mean, we can. F I guess we could follow it. Uh, in fact, I have an app for this. I cooked off screen. Yeah, mid-level haste effect. 
that that's definitely going to help us when we can't use our horse. It would also help if I turned it to night and started running around with the night gear. I guess I could do that if I have any wood left. Besides, it's smart to travel in a desert at night anyway. Let's see, how fast can I run? That's pretty fast. That's... Yeah, that, this is really fast. This is probably twice the speed I could normally run. Oh, there's a shrine down there? Or did we... We got that. Okay, we got that already. Looks like this... This walkway, this catwalk, leads all around the entire... Entire canyon. That's crazy. Look at this. There's so much structure here, but no real reason for it. This is wild. Okay, so let's let's go back, because our ultimate goal is to canvas this bluff. So we can do that. I'll, in fact, I'm going to jump down, just so we can get things to load. I've noticed that the draw distance in the Gerudo Desert is not as good, or it's much shorter than it, it has been in other areas. So I need to keep that in mind, that while I may not see a shrine, or, or anything really, there could be something there. Like, like this. These structures, we did not see this from the air. It had not loaded, so it is important that I stay mindful of that. It also looks like those are just low-level Bokoblins. Can kill them in one hit. Back. Booyah! Sneaking in. You. Die. Woo. I have a soldier's broadsword. I do not want this broadsword. In fact, I'd rather have this. Yes, perfect. Switch over to... Uh, let's switch over to one of my Savage Lionel weapons. That is, that is bound to kill these guys real quick. Die! Man, this... I kind of want... What is his weapon? This should kill him. Nope, does not kill him. Well, I'll switch over to my other Lionel weapon, the Power 91. And what is this bow? It has quick shot. It is a steel Lazal bow, which we have never encountered before, and it isn't even that good. It's on par with the Royal bow, which, comparing to Lionel weapons, is like comparing... It's like comparing a... Wow, really? It's like comparing a marshmallow to... A, an F-16. It's it's basically the same comparison. Okay, bows, I can drop the... just any one of my numerous <laughs> royal bows, which are not that great anymore. Yeah, sure, this, this royal bow isn't that bad. And it looks like... dropped a ruby. That's, that's a pretty good reward. I'll gladly get, get an entire season of ruby for killing someone. Okay, where am I headed here? I'm, I'm eventually, I guess... This path can only ever lead me to the the stables, so I guess I, I'm heading there. And it's not like we need to pick up our horse, because aggro can only take us so many places, so let's just run to that. Wait, what? What do you want? Wait up! Hey, you there! Mm. Me? Yeah, you! I'm talking to you! Come on! I'm not some creeper! I just want to talk! My friend! What do you say? Okay. Oh, Joy! Thank you! Now then, let me start over! That thing hanging on your hip? Is that a Sheikah Slate? I, I think I see where this is going. Yes? <laughs> see? I knew it! Well then! Now you must die! <laughs> oh... I, I could really only see one way this was going. Die? I guess. I, maybe. Yeah, he's he's done. Wow. I can't believe that this is such a low-level encounter, and yet we're only just seeing it. Okay, I'm, I'm smelling a shrine. I smell it. I'm on the trail. Literally, I'm on the trail of a shrine. Now, where is the thing? Where is this? I am close. Is it up there? I think it's up here. There's some wolves which I can ignore. A guardian. There it is. Uh, before I check out that shrine, I, I do want to check out what's what's back here. It seems like such a an important nook. Also, there's a giant bridge up there. 
what is back here? It almost looks like there's... Oh. Is this a live guardian? Because I'll happily kill you if you are. Not a live guardian. Just a little place, a little pool for a guardian to exist. And it looks like there's also a way we can climb this. Are you alive? Hello? No? None of these guardians are alive. Man, it has been a long time since we've seen just a dormant... Or not a dormant, but a resting guardian or a disabled one. It's been so long. Also, why are there deposits and a hammer here? That's weird. Uh, I mean, we'll take it. Some salt. Some salt. More salt. Amber. Eh, whatever. Okay, shrine time. What is in here? Shrine time, prime time. Kano Shrine. Power of electricity. Kano Shrine. This is new. We've n we haven't seen these things before. We haven't seen these. They're cool though. Here, here's my question though. Also, I have some really low tier weapons which I should be getting rid of. Can I you do this myself? I can. Wow. They they actually implemented that. So if I whack this, it actually it does power it briefly. Huh. That's one of those things. They they probably didn't need to implement it, but they did. Because the Breath of the Wild team is amazing. It also makes me very hopeful for the future of Zelda. What are they going to do from here on out? So there's where I need to go. Looks like there's a mini guardian there, too. Can I climb this? No. I, I'm guessing... Oh, I, I think I, I can see where this is heading. That's going to turn on a conveyor belt. But it makes me very hopeful for the future of Zelda if things continue to be as innovative as this. I mean, with with this game engine that they have made, they can pull a, a Majora's Mask and make another Zelda game in half the development time because they don't have to make, they don't have to make a, a physics engine. They don't have to work on assets, but they can make an entirely new game or even, or even just add on to this one, which is kind of what they're doing. I'm guessing there's something down here. Maybe? No? I think I might have missed out on a treasure chest under that, but we'll, we'll find out. But they can make it in record time and not have a dip in quality because they already had so much, so much foundation already established. So I just have really high hopes for Nintendo and also just Zelda in general. Uh, I mean, Nintendo just released, um, uh, but, uh, what's it called? Mario, Ode Ma Mario Odyssey for the Switch, and the reviews on that are as good as... Die now. They are as good as Breath of the Wild. Like, people are raving about, about Mario Odyssey, and that's not, that's, you know, it's the first year of the Switch. It's great. Uh, what are we trying to do here? So this water, I presume, is just going to like to keep me. Yes, it does. That hurts. Get... Oh. Oh, boy. That's not good. I probably shouldn't have jumped in that in retrospect. Rubber tights. Get out. Oh, I'm, I'm legitimately stuck. Uh, This is not good. Let's... At least I have a lot of items to tank through this, but at the same time... This, this isn't good. Can I get on this? I can't. Okay. Yes, I'm out. Whew, that, uh, that was bad. That was really bad. So, what we're trying to accomplish here is what then? So we can magnesis that, and that'll hurt. Hmm. I think, oh, I think I see what they're doing. So, if we go in the water here, no, I'm not making the same mistake. Yeah, we don't get shocked from this because the charge is right there. Can you get uplink, please? Thank you. So we have to kind of bridge this gap like so. Yeah, that did it. Wow, this many episodes in and I don't think I, I shouldn't be surprised by this. 
But I am. They're already implementing... Or they're still implementing new mechanics here, which astound me constantly. Alright, I'm gonna backtrack real quick just to make sure I'm not missing something. But otherwise, this shrine is done. I didn't find anything in there. That doesn't mean there isn't anything, but I didn't find anything. So, this episode is almost over, but we are... We still have a little bit of time left, so I think what I'm going to do... Where is my headgear from this? Over there. I think what I'm going to do is ascend this this ravine, or this this wall, and then try to find one more shrine, or at least just head south, because this is not all there is. I mean, I guess we could just quick travel to the... You know what, let's do that. I'm going to quick travel to Wasteland Tower, and then we're going to head south and see what we can find. Heading south from the Wasteland Tower, the with the Divine Beast in the backdrop here, a beautiful backdrop it is, it really reminds me, and I don't know if this is just because I am an Earthbound fan or not, but it really reminds me of uh, the desert in Earthbound, because if you look at the far reaches of that, it seems to, and if we pull out the map, it seems to end in a shoreline. I can't really tell. It might end in ocean. That could just be, uh, that could just be an endless desert as well. But it really reminds me of Earthbound, with there just being kind of a contained desert. And I'm really excited to see what is there. I'm also interested to see what is on this, this rock. Spectacle Rock, which... If I recall, Spectacle Rock is in Wind Waker, so this is an island. What is this? So the, this is an island from Wind Waker. And there's a little little doodad there. So we're set, heading south. I have the I have the shrine sensor on, and we're gonna see what is here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Korok, Korok location right there. A very complex one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Needs to go here. And that's it. Very elaborate Korok right there. That required actual thinking and counting, not just a basic, a basic pattern check. Yeah, this is, whoa. There's a guardian over there. It, this is, wow. Wow. This is the most elaborate Korok puzzle I have ever seen. This is crazy. I think I spot the difference. I do. This block needs to go right here. A little bit closer. And push that little guy in there. And done. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. That was an actual puzzle. Not just some, oh, you need to, you know, is this a triangle? Then fill in the dot. Like, it, it isn't simple. I'm, I'm actually kind of proud of you, Zelda. Firing everything. And cutting that. Why am I using a guardian weapon? Well, I currently, I currently have a bunch of bad weapons, which I want to get out of my inventory. Okay, now he is unable to run. And let's cut him up. He's done. Man, that did... <laughs> that was easy. That was so easy. And we get a bunch of gear. Cool. Didn't even... He wasn't even able to bring out his targeting system. That was... That was it. Okay, my temperature's fine. It looks like I should be burning up, but also... Consider how high altitude I am. I mean, there's... It looks like there's snow up there. Dirty snow, but it looks like there's snow. So, I... I would be fairly cold. One day we'll get to that. I think that's a divine beast. I would assume it is, but can't be sure. It still, to me, looks like a Midna portal. Okay, let's climb up this. Sadly, due to the necessity of the game, I'm, I'm, I'm unable to use... Is that guy? I think that guy's alive. No, he's dead. In a weird position, isn't he? Look at that. Are you? Oh, you poor thing. You're You're dead. You looked so, so vivacious, so alive. 
Also, I need to pay attention for memory, since they seem to like hiding them in areas like this. So yeah, we're almost done with the episode. I think once I head up here, then I will end it, because I... Recently, I've been having to... Jimmy episodes, if I want to use that term. I've been having to kind of do some patchwork on them, because one episode's slightly too short, one of them's slightly longer than it should be. Oh, hey, you're alive. You you have no limbs, my friend. Uh, yeah, you have literally no limbs. What what am I going to use? At least this is a good opportunity to cut him up with some bad weapons which are in my inventory. And... Skrbloosh. Hit him. Wow, that, that killed him. Sorry, man. That really stinks for you. I'm, I'm really sorry. You've been waiting here for how long? A hundred years? Just to die? Okay, I think we're going to climb that rock there. If if there's ever going to be a a stone talus, it's going to be up there. Just just look at it. It's This is stone talus city right here. Also, some there are some rushrooms which we can get. Make use of my climbing upgrade. And then fight this, this talus to end off the episode? How did I know? How did I know? Stone talus time! Or, wait. No? No stone talus time? No stone talus time! Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Okay, some deposits. There's the maze, which I guess we'll probably be covering next episode. We're already we're already at the maze, which I said, you know, that's gonna be so long until we, we encounter that, but nope. Maze is right there. There's their guardian, which we just faced. And it looks like a Korok. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end off the episode right there. Uh, also, we have so many Korok seeds. We need to... We really need to turn those into the, the Korok Overlord Master. Here, you can take that back. That is going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. Next time, we are going to send to even greater heights and then, po probably, descend upon the maze, which almost looks like it's not fully loaded. You see how it looks just like a texture? And we're going to be doing that. Uh, and we're also on the lookout for, for any shrine along the way, since this place seems fairly barren thus far. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on a Monday or Wednesday for another episode of Breath of the Wild. See you guys then! Don't stop, don't stop, we're in love now. Don't stop, keep your spirit proud. And ride up on the wind, all we have to do is go. Don't stop, don't stop, we're in love now. Don't stop, there's so much to be found. We can't find paradise, all we have to do is go, go free the soul. And now, what, what else is there? I'm really excited, you can hear it in my voice, I'm really excited to find this maze, which I can't, oh there it is, I couldn't actually see it. Oh, and we're getting, yeah, we're getting a shrine, we better get a shrine notification from this. Okay, let's fly down to the entrance of this maze, and then tackle it from there. Oh, it's a maze. You guys know how much I love these mazes, they're, they're so well designed.